Yes, the uh, band is Grooveyard Hammond Combo. I love them. Um, Phil Cookie, uh, Kaz, uh, Kev McGrath on drums. Fab- absolutely fabulous band. Book them. There's the number. <laughs> Book them for your next gig. They do everything. Bar mitzvahs, weddings, funerals, you name it. Hi, Faye Stevens. I've got the legendary uh, fruit fly. Uh, Princess uh, Faye Stevens. Faye, it's great to see you here at this amazing weekend. Yeah, it's been fantastic. I've absolutely loved it. And it's been so great seeing so many old faces. I know. And um, what, what it, what's absolutely incredible is the turn up of people. You know, people have come from everywhere around. They have. To be with the, with the fruit flies yeah. for the yeah. 40th anniversary. And you're, of course, one of the founding 40th members uh, for, uh, from the fruit flies. No, I'm not. Really? No. I've got that hopelessly wrong. <laughs> I started, I came in 1983. Yeah, right. I became involved and my first ever tour was to Adelaide and my first job was to wash the feet of the kids as they went in the tent. Wow. So they didn't have dirty feet when they were on the mats. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your daughters, Michelle and... Um, Donna. And Donna. Uh, so they started in... They started in 83. They did the Nanjing One project and then they continued on from there. When Donna left Fruit Fly, she, she went to Cirque du Soleil and she was with them for, for eight years. And Michelle's actually back working here and she's been here for about eight or nine years, I think. So she runs quite a few of the training programs and is a trainer. Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. And, but you've done so many jobs uh, in and out of the fruit flies, it's been incredible. I reckon you've covered every job there is to do at the fruit fly circus, and there are hundreds of them. I know, and at constant. When I started working full time with them, which was '87, I was const. I was really shy, and anyway, I was constantly pushed to all sorts, doing all sorts of awful things. Well, not awful, but totally out of my comfort zone. And every, but every day I came to work, I could hardly wait to get there because there was always some, um, I shouldn't say problems, challenges. I reckon you could say problems. <laughs> and there's been some really, you know, rough times, not rough, but we were nearly had to close the door a couple of doors a couple of times because of lack of funding or, um, but we always, you know, got through because it's, the community and the kids were, have just been amazing, and the people that work that we've employed to work with us on shows, they've they've gone on to to do amazing things, and the kids themselves are doing amazing things. The ones that have left, and the ones that are currently in it, they, they'll go and do amazing things as well. So. Yeah. It, it is it is extraordinary. The people at the grassroots level, you know, like uh, I was talking to Colleen Adams uh, last night, you know, yeah. whose daughter Jane was in the first Fruit Flies. Yeah. Um, and Ian and Dorothy Grayland and Julie oh, Lynn. Yes, um, yes. And uh, Graham Ling and all, all the people, Dave and Lester, Joan Lester, all those people who go back many, many, many years. Yeah. But who provided the basis, and they're the real roots of the tree of the whole Fruit Fly thing, people yeah. like yourself. And Nolene Wilkes. Yes, um, all the yeah, costumes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Who, you know, would go on tour yeah. and um, sacrifice a lot in their own personal lives um, to go out and support their, not only their kids but everyone else's kids. Yes, And the, yes. And the fruit fly structure. That's Absolutely. what I find incredible. Yeah. That human story. Yes. That story of endeavour, you know, of getting the job done, going out and cook, kicking, you know, cooking hot dogs for all the, for oh all the God, kids yes. and on tour, you know, and, and just the amazing things and the costumes and, you know, the rain and, the, you know, everything. That That's an amazing human story. And also, you know, even feeding, like if, say, 30 kids, you know, feeding them every, like, three, three meals a day and then all the washing that has to be done from those, you know, from the kids. And let alone the washing from the costumes, and um, you know, it's yeah, it's it's a big, big thing. And when you set up a tent, it's like setting up a village, because you have to, you know, if you've got all these caravans in a big circle, normally, if you were living on site, and then you've got a we we used to have Julie Ling, who was the cook, and she was a parent. But as time went on, we actually employed chefs or cooks. 
And yeah. so it was a different story. Well, Julie and Graham actually mortgaged their house, didn't they, to go to Canada on the Probably. tour? And, and so that she could volunteer cook <laughs> on the tour. I mean, these sorts of sacrifices are the things that just... Uh, Amaze me the selflessness. Yes, yeah. But it sort of like has changed people's lives, you know, not just the kids, but as you say, as the parents as well, because they're exposed to a whole lot of people that they would never normally ever ever meet, you know. And when we're on tour, you take the kids to the places that they would never ever, you know, see in Albury Wodonga. Like there were kids that left Albury and were up and they were performing in New York. Yeah. And kids that are left Albury have gone straight to London. Yeah. You know, yeah. can you imagine that yeah. when you're eight or nine or ten years old? You know? Yeah, yeah. What a blowout. I yeah. mean, it, yeah, it is. It's, it's an extraordinary story. And then, you know, there's the story of those who decided that, you know, they weren't going to be circus performers when they left the Fruit Fly Circus. Yeah. They were going to do other things with yeah. their lives. Yeah. But what they've taken with them is that sense of the importance of team, the importance of selfless acts, Absolutely. the importance of uh, looking after yourself yes. Yes. and looking after others. Yes, and working as a, and working with a, a team. And they've got this confidence. And they also have learnt... Like even the kids that um, do go on to perform, in, not necessarily in circus, but in theatre, they go into a theatre and they actually can understand understand the backstage area. They understand where not to work, to walk. It's something that has into has gone into their brains and they don't even realise it. Yes, they've got an innate sense. Yes. Um, of that world. Yes. Totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very yeah. particularly. Faye, I know you've got to go out to lunch in a minute with a whole lot of rep reprobates, including <laughs> Liz Walsh. And uh, Nolene Wilkes. Nolene, uh, Nolene Wilkes. Wilkes. Jane. Mullet. Uh, Jane Ollie Mullet. Black. Oh, my hat. Uh, um, what a crew. Um, it might not come back from that. Well, it's a bit of, you know, it's, you don't have 40 years. I know. Birthday very often, do you? I know. It's pretty extraordinary. Yes. Um uh, you, know, you do it all over again and then some probably oh yeah what a great life yeah. we should have a sort of light lifestyle program choices you know that you you can be um uh, this is one of the things you can do in life you know you don't have to retire to play golf or you don't have to well I'm, here i am talking about retiring you you've been doing this since you were 20. oh no i wasn't 20. <laughs> god i'm 74 now oh you look brilliant <laughs> Hey, it's been so good to talk with you. Um, thank you. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. I shall. Thanks so much for that. And I wanted to say too, thank you for everything that you have done personally, yeah. because I've seen it. I've seen it for many, many years. All the things that you've done and all the contribution you've made to this wonderful institution. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks, Faye John. Stevens.